the icy soul warlord went on. In the beginning, these places of innate knowledge were extremely secretive. It was exceedingly difficult for those who entered the ancient saint battlefield to find them. However, over millions of years, for some unknown reason, strange barriers formed around these areas. As long as one could spot these barriers, it was easy to find the inheritance holy lands. However, this situation is not without disadvantages. Only those fated to receive the sacred inheritances can enter. All others won't have any success in breaking through the barriers. Maximus was speechless. This situation was more complex than he had ever imagined. The two of them quickly approached. They could already feel that as they got closer, the temperature between heaven and earth dropped. There was mist floating above the barrier. Occasionally, a frost would descend. It was obvious that the air had liquefied or even condensed because of the cold. Maximus shrugged, then mused. Looks like I'm not fated to enter. It was obvious that the innate knowledge left behind here was for ice attribute martial artists. This meant the icy soul warlord would surely be able to break through the barrier. She felt a little embarrassed. Previously, she had obtained the low grade, eighth grade ancient saint crystal, and now the sacred land of inheritance was fated to open for her. Fortune seemed to be favoring her over Maximus. Maximus didn't mind, however. He joked. I will stroll around. Maybe I can break through one level after you break through three. The icy soul warlord nodded, then chimed in. Then I'll congratulate the mysterious immortal warlord in advance. With that, she flew into the barrier. Maximus thought for a moment. He wanted to see if this barrier was really as icy soul warlord had said, and it rejected those who were not fated to enter. So he immediately drew closer. As he approached it, the barrier suddenly trembled. It gave Maximus the feeling that it had gone from calm to violent, as if a sleeping lion had awakened, and it was pressing down on him with a tremendous force. Maximus's facial expression changed slightly, and he hurriedly retreated. The barrier had once again returned to its calm state. He had now given up on testing the theory and resolved to continue his quest elsewhere. Half a day later, after killing a few 7th grade ancient saint spiritual bodies, Maximus discovered another inheritance of Holy Land. With a flash, he appeared at its barrier. But before he could get closer, a blazing column of fire shot up into the sky. A pillar of fire? This means that this Holy Land is for fire attribute warriors! Maximus mused aloud. Then, with joy on his face, he entered the barrier. After passing through the barrier, Maximus realized that this was actually a valley. In the void, there were endless flames. They were quickly rushing toward one point, condensing into a figure that was half human and half fire. From the waist up, the figure was a handsome middle-aged man, but below, he was a ball of flame. He gazed dully at Maximus and explained in a flat tone, Defeat what's left of my human form and you'll be able to obtain one of my three ultimate skills. It was obvious that this was some schema that had been set up long before his death. This fire incarnation did not have any intelligence. Without giving Maximus any time to react, the flames in the lower half of the middle-aged man's body surged out like a sea of fire, covering the sky and the sun. In the next moment, in the depths of the sea of fire, there was a huge beast head. The head of the beast was entirely formed from flames. The roar caused the valley to shake. Then, the beast spat out a blazing fireball that looked like a meteor. It had a strange purple hue, and its temperature was unbelievably high. Mysterious immortal 10,000 Dragon Palm! Maximus shouted in a low voice, and his hand flew so fast through the air that it formed a series of after images. Soon, 10,000 tiny dragons were filling the air. At this moment, Maximus unleashed the Holy Fire battle body and the profound immortal physique. Although this fire avatar was only an incarnation, its strength had already reached the limit of an epic warlord. 
Maximus thus knew he had to deploy his most powerful abilities. Even though the Fire Avatar's power had been somewhat diluted over time, the fireballs clashed with Maximus's Dragon Palm attack over and over, and they were clearly more powerful. The sky was filled with the remarkable image of thousands of tiny dragons clashing with an endless onslaught of purple fireballs. Blue Special Flame! Fuse! Maximus screamed as his facial expression remained unchanged. The blue special flame instantly merged with the Holy Fire battle body and profound immortal physique. At this moment, Maximus's internal strength base soared, not inferior to the peak of the second level. However, Maximus knew that this wasn't enough. The blue special flame quickly merged into the mysterious immortal 10,000 dragon palm and every dragon was now surrounded by a halo of silver flame. The entire valley was instantly engulfed by the purple flame and the silver flame, and the rumbling sound almost shattered the valley. Break! Maximus shouted. The giant beast let out a wail and finally collapsed completely. It briefly turned the sky into a sea of purple flame, then fell down, transforming the valley into a field of fire. However, at this moment, the sea of flames surged and a dragon roar that shook the entire valley could be heard. A dragon's head materialized in the sea of flames. In the next moment, a huge flaming dragon claw rolled along with the flames, aimed at Maximus. This strike was actually even more powerful than the previous attack. Mysterious immortal perishing finger, Maximus screamed. In an instant, the flaming environment was extinguished. After all, this was a true supreme upper grade Holy Realm technique. With such a powerful attack, the flaming Dragon Claw obviously couldn't produce any resistance. The middle of the Dragon Claw was penetrated by the perishing finger in an instant, and it sank into the Sea of Fire. Just then though, the Sea of Fire surged, threatening to swallow Maximus whole. He took a deep breath. The blue special flame merged with the mysterious immortal perishing finger. An even more terrifying aura surged out, and at the same time, a silver flame raged, with Maximus at its center. The upper part of the fire avatar's body now showed signs of immense struggle. It shouted in pain before being swallowed up by the flames that formed its bottom half. The incarnation of fire had been destroyed by Maximus at this point. Three balls of flames hovered in midair and flew to Maximus's side. They contained three supreme upper grade Holy Realm ultimate techniques, and Maximus could only choose one of them. He closed his eyes and his soul spirit immediately entered the three balls of flames. After a long while, he opened his eyes. He seemed to be deep in thought. He had made a decision. He would choose the second fireball. The innate skill in the first flame ball was called the Great Flame Heaven Burning Howl. It was a transcendent grade, upper level technique. It was ranked at the bottom among those of the same level. It was the technique that the giant beast had used to spit out the purple flame. The absolute art in the third ball of flame was called the Sun Flame Heaven Burning Palm. It was also at the transcendent grade upper level and was ranked high among skills in that category. It was ranked high among those of the same rank. Its power was highly impressive. This was the huge energy field of flame that had attacked Maximus earlier. As for the second flame, the ultimate skill it contained was the Flame Breaking Claw. It could only be considered at the intermediate level among the supreme upper grade Holy Realm skills. However, Maximus had a good reason for choosing it, of course. Even if it was not the most powerful technique among the three, his compatibility with it was the highest, at nearly 80%, and so he would be able to deploy it most effectively. With Maximus having made his choice, the other two flames instantly dispersed into the air so that they could not be claimed by others. Maximus felt a surge of sorrow at the sight, but luckily, he was not greedy. In his mind, once he obtained the five element spirit fruit, he was confident he could obtain significant improvements in all aspects in a short period of time. 
This included his internal strength base. When Lord Flame woke up and planted the spirit fruits in the Nine Flames fire tower, he would have a 100% likelihood of becoming a true god and ascending to the divine world. During this period of time, no matter how many supreme upper grade holy realm techniques he cultivated, they would prove useless in the divine world. Hence, mastering one or two was enough. There was no need for more. The ball of flame suddenly merged with Maximus's brain. He was floating in the air with his legs crossed, inheriting the internal strength method of the flame-breaking claw. A figure flashed in his mind. It was formed by Maximus's primordial spirit, and it methodically instructed him on use of the new technique. In the blink of an eye, two weeks passed. Maximus's eyes suddenly opened. The air in front of him seemed to have been struck by a scorching heat, producing a loud bang. He stood up and couldn't help but let out a long roar. It faintly sounded like the roar of a dragon, and it echoed throughout the valley. Maximus looked up at the barrier above and turned into a ray of light as he passed through it. Although he had obtained a supreme upper grade Holy Realm innate skill, it had not produced an obvious increase in his overall strength. At most, the process had given him a slight boost of confidence. Having flown through the air for a few moments, Maximus' expression resolved into a smile. Sure enough, not far in front of him was an eighth grade ancient saint spirit body. Judging from the fluctuation of the aura, it was of the intermediate grade. The ancient saint spirit body had obviously noticed Maximus as well. It roared and rushed over. These ancient saint spirit bodies didn't have any memories of their past life, so they naturally wouldn't use any powerful techniques. They could only run around recklessly. As long as their level was the same, a human could easily get rid of one. Holy fire battle body, condense! Profound immortal physique, condense! Flame breaking claw! Maximus screamed. He turned into the expert immortal war god. His dragon claw pierced through the void and grabbed the ancient saint spirit body, instantly killing it. After obtaining the intermediate 8th grade ancient saint crystal, Maximus had no time to look for the icy soul warlord. He found a random outcropping of boulders where he could conceal himself and started absorbing and refining it. The energy in the crystal was so pure that it allowed Maximus to break through to the second level of the inner precinct in one go. A day later, a long roar was heard from a valley. A huge aura rolled out from the vortex, scaring away all the lower grade ancient saint bodies in the surroundings. A figure suddenly dashed out. It was Maximus. By this point, he had stabilized the early second level of the inner precinct. After he absorbed a few more low-grade, eighth-grade ancient saint crystals, breaking through to the intermediate second level wouldn't be a problem for him. Meanwhile, in her own inheritance holy land, the icy soul warlord had finished absorbing the innate knowledge. She had ventured beyond the barrier briefly, but hadn't seen Maximus, and thus concluded that he was still engaged in his own search for innate skills so she sat down cross-legged and waited. Not long after, the icy soul warlord suddenly stood up, and a rainbow light shot over from afar. The aura was incomparably powerful, and it had an enigmatic quality. The icy soul warlord was alert at first, but soon she realized that the energy was extremely familiar, so she relaxed, and a hint of pleasure spread across her face. Indeed, the figure in the rainbow light was Maximus, Congratulations, mystic immortal warlord, the icy soul warlord declared once Maximus had landed, bowing her head slightly out of respect. Maximus offered, Icy soul warlord, we have both broken through to the epic warlord realm, and you also obtained an innate skill. It's time to eliminate that centipede beast. My thoughts exactly. Let's go, the icy soul warlord declared. The two of them turned into two streaks of light and shot toward the direction of the five element tree.
two beams of rainbow light descended and revealed Maximus's and the icy soul warlord's bodies. Perhaps it was because it sensed the two familiar auras, but this time, the centipede beast quickly crawled out of the ground, opening its mouth and spitting out pitch black venom. The venom spread in the air like ink, dyeing the void black. I soul battle body condense, the icy soul warlord shouted, displaying her divine grade physique. The ice blue battle armor was majestic, making her look like a high and mighty ice goddess. Her internal strength base had experienced a huge upgrade as the gap between the legendary warlord and epic warlord was epic. And now that she had passed this important threshold, she would be able to battle at a whole new level. Meanwhile, Maximus looked at everything in front of him with curiosity in his eyes. Judging from the icy soul warlord's bearing, it was obvious that she was going to use her newly acquired innate combat skill. Sure enough, the Icy Soul Warlord formed over a hundred hand seals with both of her hands. Her hands moved so fast that they only formed after images. Eye of Ice Condensation, open! She screamed. In an instant, a deep blue third eye opened between the Icy Soul Warlord's brows. The moment it appeared, Maximus sensed that the surrounding space was frozen. This stagnation was caused by the sudden drop in temperature. Vast sheets of ice spread out, freezing the entire space. Even with Maximus's internal strength base, he could faintly feel that his body was unable to withstand the force of this change. The circulation of the Saint Origin in his body slowed down. Boom! Next, the blue special flame in his energy center automatically flowed out and circulated throughout his body. Only then did Maximus return to normal. This Saint Eye is really powerful. It has only just been activated, and it already has such force. Maximus mused to himself. Ice Light Beam! The Icy Soul Warlord shouted. An icy blue light beam shot out from her Saint Eye, freezing the space along its way. Beams of light shot out continuously. The pitch black venom in the void began to slow its trajectory, then was completely frozen. The centipede beast was frozen before it could retreat. Its body was covered in a thick layer of gray blue ice. Maximus's pupils shrank. This ice concentration beam was as powerful as any inner precinct combat skill, if not more forceful. The icy soul warlord had just stepped into the epic warlord realm and yet had already absorbed such a terrifying ultimate technique. Her luck was truly extraordinary. Maximus's soul energy gushed out and his eyes sparkled. The icy soul warlord's compatibility with her newly acquired knowledge was at least 90%. Such a high compatibility, no wonder it's so powerful already. It will only become more formidable in the future, Maximus commented to himself. Yet, he didn't relax because of this. The Icy Soul Warlord's technique was indeed powerful and well-suited to her, but it was not at its peak. At the same time, the Centipede Battle Beast was equivalent to the Intermediate Warlord realm, and thus was by no means an opponent that could be easily overthrown. Just then, a crack split open, and then more and more cracks appeared on the layer of ice. The Icy Soul Warlord frowned slightly. She had never expected that even after her spectacular increase in strength, the Centipede Battle Beast would still manage to gain the upper hand. Maximus chuckled, then proposed, If on one side is the cold air, and on the other side is the hot flame, I wonder if this Centipede Beast can withstand it. He paused for effect, then shouted, Holy fire battle body condense! Profound immortal physique condense! Blue special flame fuse! At the same time, his internal strength base soared, quickly surpassing the limit of the second level. The icy soul warlord had never seen anything like this conjunction of battle armor skills. She stood there with her mouth agape. Maximus then screamed, Fusion! Mysterious immortal perishing finger! A column of silver flame surged toward the ice-blue layer of poison. 
The flames then expanded and completely devoured the poison. The poison had just been removed from the ice, but when it came into contact with the other temperature extreme, it immediately dissolved. The centipede battle beast was similarly affected. The column of silver flame pressed the centipede battle beast to the ground. The perishing aura surged into the centipede battle beast's body and continuously ate away at it. The blue special flame amplified the destructive effect. With Maximus's current internal strength base and the profound immortal perishing finger infused with the blue special flame, his combat strength was comparable to an ordinary late stage invincible warlord. The icy soul warlord took a deep breath she had never foreseen working in such close conjunction with Maximus. But now it was clear that without his help, she would never have been able to reap such benefits in this domain. Yet her thoughts were interrupted by Maximus, who pressed, I see Soul Warlord, how do we take down the five element spirit fruits? Should we attack directly or do we need some sort of special approach? The icy soul warlord quickly explained, the fruits must be taken off the tree using jade. You can't use your hands. She then reached into her storage bag and took out 20 jade instruments. She wanted to give a majority of them to Maximus, but he refused. She pressed, You were the one who destroyed the guardian beast. Please, you should have these. Maximus responded, Well, if you hadn't told me about the existence of the five element spirit fruits, I wouldn't have had this opportunity in the first place. Furthermore, you contributed a great deal in the previous battle, so why don't we split them evenly? All right, all right, the icy soul warlord demurred, seeing the look of determination on Maximus's face. Soon, the two of them had obtained the five spirit fruits, and their main goal in entering the ancient saint battlefield had been achieved. They thus took their leave in search of a place to refine the fruits. Maximus had obtained a total of 14 five-element spirit fruits, and he had already made some arrangements in his mind. After randomly finding a secluded valley, he waved his sleeve and set up a barrier around the space. With his current internal strength base, unless it was a powerful epic warlord or an invincible warlord, no one would be able to break through the barrier and enter this place. He held a five-element spirit fruit in his hand, and the saint origin in his body surged into it. In the next moment, the fruit, which was originally white, shot out a dazzling fiery red color. It was as if the valley were wrapped in flames, causing the temperature to rise rapidly. The originally static fruit was now vibrating with an extremely shocking energy fluctuation. A rich fruit fragrance filled the air. Feeling the shocking energy of the five element spirit fruit Maximus fell into deep thought. In his heart, he had a vague sense of the fruit's grade. It was barely at the transcendent grade. If he consumed two or three of them, he could perhaps break through to the middle stage. But to go higher, he would surely require more. I'll upgrade my internal strength base first, he declared. After swallowing the five element spirit fruit, a fiery energy filled his entire body. It circulated wildly flowing through his meridians in all directions. Not good, Maximus said to himself as his expression suddenly changed. Because the energy of the five element spirit fruit was too powerful, he was actually unable to suppress it. The energy of the five spirit fruit crazily attacked Maximus's meridians. Even though Maximus's meridians had been tempered repeatedly because of the continuous improvement of his internal strength base, he was still unable to withstand it. The Nine Flames Fire formula couldn't completely suppress and refine the five element spirit fruit at this moment. He discoursed to himself, if this goes on, my meridians will be damaged. The level of the Nine Flames Fire formula is a little low. Since this is the case, I can only put aside my internal strength base and raise the level of the Nine Flames Fire formula first. Taking a deep breath, Maximus changed his focus. After a few moments, the ferociousness on his face disappeared and the pressure on him was greatly relieved. The Nine Flames Fire formula, which had originally reached the fifth level of perfection, was now advancing toward the middle level without any signs of slowing down. The five element spirit fruit's effect on it 
was much greater than it had been on his internal strength base. Not long after, the formula reached the middle grade of the fifth level. At the same time, the blue special flame rose to the intermediate level of the transcendent grade. Eventually, the improvement of the Nine Flames fire formula finally started to slow down. Without hesitation, Maximus took out another five heaven and earth element spirit fruit and swallowed it. Boom! The flame swept out and engulfed Maximus. Immediately, the Nine Flames fire formula began to approach the sixth level. He was somewhat moved by this advancement, as it signaled that he was near the true god level. The silver flame gradually withdrew into Maximus's body. He opened his eyes, and the after image of the flame was still imprinted on his field of vision. He pondered the situation in his heart. Then, with a flip of his palm, a third spirit fruit appeared in his hand. The Nine Flames fire formula has reached the high level of the fifth level of perfection. The power of the blue special flame is no less than a transcendent grade, upper grade sacred flame. With the current level of the Nine Flames fire formula, it should be easy to absorb another divine fruit. He swallowed the third fruit. This time, he used it to enhance his internal strength base. Its enormous energy allowed Maximus to seamlessly advance to the late second level of the inner precinct. He swallowed a fourth spirit fruit. Boom! The powerful aura surged in all directions like tidal waves. At this point, Maximus's internal strength bases had already crossed the barrier, separating the second level from the third. Maximus couldn't help but let out a long roar, and his aura soared. If it had not been for the barrier, the aura would have rushed into the clouds. A moment later, Maximus's aura gradually stabilized, and his face was filled with joy. The energy of the five spirit fruit was indeed enormous. He had not only broken through to the third level, but also stabilized it almost immediately. After consuming four spirit fruits, Maximus still had 10 left. He planned to use them to improve his martial arts skills. With these resources, he could bring all of them to the 10th level, increasing his overall strength by leaps and bounds. Several months had passed since Maximus had gone into seclusion. He had used up his remaining five element spirit fruits by now, and his four great martial arts skills soared to the 12th level. This was the first time Maximus had felt as if the true god realm was within reach. He took a deep breath and suppressed his unstable emotions. No rush, no rush. I haven't reached the limit in all aspects. I still need some time to accumulate the spirit fruit's energy, he declared to himself. Whether it was the internal strength base or the four great martial arts, they had not been raised to the limit. Half a day later, Maximus had completely calmed down. He turned into a streak of light and flew into the distance. Since he no longer had the five element spirit fruits, he needed to obtain a higher grade ancient saint crystal if he wanted to continue increasing his strength. He resolved to seek out level nine and level 10 ancient saint spirit bodies. He shuffled back and forth across the ancient saint battlefield. He deployed his primordial spirit and carefully searched for ancient saint spirit bodies. In this battlefield, his soul was greatly suppressed, but the primordial spirit was different. Even if one was actively trying to hide from it underground, it could still sweep over a space and find any living entities. In the ancient saint battlefield, his soul was also greatly suppressed. Its range might not even be comparable to the great circle of the ancient holy realm. The vision of a level three expert could be seen. One day, two days, four days, two weeks, one month. Even after all this time, Maximus had yet to encounter a level nine ancient saint spirit body, even though he had found several at the seventh level or below. If the icy soul warlord had not described the existence of level nine exemplars, he would have suspected they didn't exist. As Maximus was searching for the ninth grade ancient saint spirit bodies, the water dragon warlord 
had also broken through to the invincible warlord realm. Further, the four generals under his command had advanced to the limit of the epic warlord realm. The water dragon warlord had been accumulating his strength at the limit of the epic warlord realm for countless years, which was why he had easily broken through to the invincible warlord realm as soon as he arrived at the ancient saint battlefield. Still, he was now in a situation similar to Maximus's. He had gleaned all the resources he could from the 7th and 8th level ancient saint spirit bodies, and if he wanted to advance further, he needed to find level 9 varietals. Therefore, the water dragon warlord ordered his four top generals to search the battlefield far and wide instructing them to send a message to him as soon as they discovered a level 9 ancient saint spirit body. Of course, he added that they should kill any humans they encountered, while specifically seeking out the icy soul warlord and the mysterious immortal warlord. Among the four generals, the green dragon warlord was the weakest and most inconspicuous in terms of both bloodline and combat power. However, during this trip to the ancient saint battlefield, he had obtained a powerful innate skill and had ended up being the first to break through to the epic warlord realm. He had thus unexpectedly risen in status to become the top general, and he had never felt so proud and confident. The green dragon warlord was also searching for high-level ancient saint spiritual bodies. Even if he could not break through to the invincible warlord level, he would at least reach the limit of the epic warlord level and be only a half step away. Then, with his extended lifespan, he might be able to break through to the invincible warlord realm in the future. Soon he came upon a rainbow light that was similar to the one that the water dragon warlord had described as the indicator of Maximus's presence. How could my luck be so good? He mused to himself. He was overjoyed for he knew the depth of his master's hatred toward Maximus, known as the mysterious immortal warlord. If he captured him, he would no doubt be handsomely rewarded. Before entering the ancient saint battlefield, because of the water dragon warlord's warnings, the green dragon warlord and the other four generals were naturally afraid of Maximus. However, as his strength increased, and as he became the leader of the four generals, he felt a new sense of confidence about facing Maximus head-on. With a fierce glint in his eyes, he turned into a huge dragon and charged toward the rainbow light. A dragon? Maximus blurted. He was surprised at first, but then he remembered the icy soul warlord had described the four generals of the water dragon warlord to him. One of them, he remembered, was a poison green dragon. Maximus appeared calm. Just as the green dragon was about to approach, he struck out with his palm. An energy orb shot toward the green dragon warlord at lightning speed. He let out a miserable cry, and his huge body smashed into the ground. With a rumbling sound, it knocked down countless mountains. How is this possible? He exclaimed. The ambition and pride that the green dragon warlord had just felt had completely disappeared, leaving behind only fear. Now sensing that Maximus had reached the equivalent of the Invincible Warlord realm, he knew that it would be foolish, not to mention deadly, to attack with impunity. But then he second-guessed himself. Wait, I have that powerful innate skill. I can likely easily kill this human. The Green Dragon Warlord let out an angry roar. His body quickly expanded several times, turning into a huge creature in the void. This time, he had already displayed his bloodline to the limit, and his aura was not any weaker than that of an invincible warlord's. In the void, the green poison dragon opened its huge mouth, and green venom sprayed out like a rainstorm. This was the innate skill of a green dragon, called the Sky Decay Poison. As the name implied, the Sky Decay Poison could corrode space itself. If this had been the outside world rather than the ancient saint battlefield, the very structure of space would have been compromised. This skill was unimaginably powerful, and under ordinary circumstances, it would have rendered him invincible. 
but unfortunately, the Green Dragon Warlord had encountered Maximus. With a wave of his sleeve, Maximus deployed the blue special flame. It blotted out the sky and completely devoured the poison. It was as potent as the poison, but its extremely high temperature gave it the upper hand. How could this be? The Green Dragon Warlord was completely stunned. He then continued in a solemn tone. Not good. Now that his newly obtained innate skill had proven useless, he had no idea what to do next. He swept his tail forward and was about to speed away. Not so fast, Maximus shouted. He then wielded the blood-drinking Nine Dragon Sword. The saber was only one step away from completely unlocking the seal, keeping it from reaching its full potential. Up to this point, there had been too many powerful human warriors around, and Maximus had been afraid of unsheathing his mighty saber, thinking it might arouse suspicion or jealousy. Now that there was no one else around, he knew the time was right. The Green Dragon Warlord's courage had long been shattered. He only wanted to focus on escaping, and he had thus ignored the danger coming from behind. As he let out a miserable cry, the blood-drinking Nine Dragon's sword was plunged into his body. At first, he felt he could still escape, but then he began to feel a strange phenomenon. All the blood in his body was flowing in one direction, gathering in a certain spot. He began to panic as he felt the blood in his body flow away. It's actually that blade! Somehow it's controlling my blood! The Green Dragon Warlord blurted as he gritted his teeth and immediately twisted his body, wanting to dislodge the strange blade that could absorb his blood. However, the saber seemed to have rooted itself in the Green Dragon Warlord's body, and no matter how violently he twisted, he was unable to break free. Accept your fate, Maximus shouted as he chased from behind. He threw out the Nine Heavens Saint Brick and it smashed onto the Green Dragon Warlord's head. With this strike, the Green Dragon Warlord was sent hurtling toward the ground. As the Green Dragon Warlord hit the ground, he was immediately knocked unconscious. And in this helpless state, he was even more vulnerable to the effects of the blood-drinking Nine Dragon Sword. Soon, the saber had sucked him dry. Maximus watched ruefully as the Green Dragon Warlord withered away, his enormous, muscular body turning into a shriveled husk. Though he was the owner of the blood-drinking saber, Maximus could not help but feel a cold shiver run down his spine. At the same time, he was well aware that once the saber reached the transcendent grade, it could no longer absorb blood essence with impunity. For if it attempted to absorb the essence of a true god, its core would be destroyed and it would turn into scrap metal. Maximus suddenly felt that he might need an even more powerful divine artifact. Otherwise, he would not have a proper trump card in the divine world. The water dragon warlord's eyes suddenly opened. He was resting beside a river in the ancient saint battlefield. He mused. The green dragon has fallen, and yet he just obtained a formidable innate skill. This must mean... A trace of killing intent flashed across the water dragon warlord's eyes, and he suddenly stood up. Not long after, three streaks of light landed in front of him. When the light beams dispersed, three warriors appeared, standing shoulder to shoulder. Two men and one woman. Master, may I know why you called us here? One of the men asked respectfully. The water dragon warlord explained in a deep voice. The green dragon is dead. I suspect it was done by the mysterious immortal warlord of the human race. What? The three generals cried out in shock. Since their arrival at the ancient saint battlefield, the green dragon had gotten more benefits than them. But still, this was a stunning turn of events. The water dragon warlord sneered. Who said that we are the only ones who can obtain benefits here? That mysterious immortal war sovereign is extraordinary, and he must have gotten some benefits as well. That's no doubt why he was able to kill the green dragon. Damn it, I warned him not to be careless. Luckily, I left a mark on all of you 
so that I could summon the rest of you at any time. The three generals were silent. They didn't think that the green dragon would dare to ignore the water dragon warlord's orders. Most likely, he had acted impulsively in hopes of obtaining some reward. Yet in the end, he had made a fatal misjudgment. Let's go, the water dragon warlord exclaimed as he waved his sleeve and turned into a ray of green light that then shot into the sky. The three generals followed closely behind and turned into three rays of light. At the place where the green dragon warlord had fallen, the three generals could not help but feel a chill in their hearts. They beheld their comrade, who was now just a husk of a beast. Who could accomplish such a thing? The water dragon warlord's expression turned serious, but he quickly formed a seal with his hands. A wisp of light then floated from the green dragon warlord's shriveled form. The water dragon warlord spread his hands. When the ray of light landed in his hands, he closed his eyes. Then he abruptly opened them and shouted, This direction! Meanwhile, Maximus had found a secluded valley within the ancient saint battlefield and planned to rest there for a few days. After his primordial spirit had almost fully recovered, he paused for a moment, and then a big smile bloomed on his face. Just then, Lord Flame had finally woken up and transmitted his voice to Maximus. After having been in the Battle Energy Continent for so many years, he was finally able to enter the Nine Flames Fire Tower once more. Yet as Maximus was about to enter the tower, his face turned cold. He could feel a powerful aura that was filled with hostility and killing intent coming toward him. This aura, it's the Water Dragon Warlord! Maximus declared, his eyes cold. Now that my internal strength base has broken through to the third level of the inner precinct, the water dragon warlord can help me gauge my current strength. After saying this, Maximus didn't just sit there and wait for death. He took the initiative to transform into a streak of light and flew toward the water dragon warlord. Taking the initiative to attack? Looks like the mysterious immortal warlord is confident he can defeat me. The water dragon warlord commented dryly, suppressing the rage in his heart. He stretched out with his hand and made a grabbing gesture in the void. The entire spatial zone started to tremble slightly, and a number of energy waves appeared out of nowhere, heading straight for Maximus, who pointed his finger at the void and unleashed the blue special flame. The waves collided with the flames, and a sizzling sound was heard. The void was instantly covered in a thick fog. The water dragon warlord's pupils constricted as he declared, Invincible warlord! So, you've also broken through to this level. No wonder you were able to kill the green dragon. The water dragon warlord had a sneer on his face, as if he was ultimately amused by the revelation. But within, his heart was churning with anxiety. When he had last faced Maximus, he had the upper hand in terms of internal strength base. Now that they were at the same level, he feared the results of the bout. The three generals originally wanted to show off in front of the Water Dragon Warlord, but when they heard that Maximus had reached the Invincible Warlord realm, their expressions immediately changed, and they retreated discreetly. If they got too close to the battle between the two invincible combat warlords and got caught up in it, they would at least suffer minor injuries, and it was not outside the realm of possibility that they could be seriously injured if they were not careful. The Water Dragon Warlord regarded Maximus as the strongest opponent he had ever faced, and he immediately used the innate combat skill he had obtained in the ancient Saint Battlefield. Azure Dragon, Water Wave! he shouted. One after another, violent torrents came from the sky, forming phantom azure dragons. They roared and roared as they rushed toward Maximus. This strike was something that any expert at the third level of the inner precinct would be foolish not to take seriously. Maximus shouted, Holy fire battle body condense! Profound immortal physique condense! Saint flame heaven striking fist! Like a volcanic eruption, the thick flames blotted out the sky, 
and turned into a giant flaming orb that whistled forward. The water dragon warlord's strength was indeed shocking, but Maximus was not weak either. The collision between the torrent and the flames caused the space to tremble, and that was an astounding feat given the special environment of the ancient saint battlefield. The water dragon warlord instantly transformed into his true form. It was truly magnificent, now infused with the azure dragon bloodline. An immensely powerful dragon tail swept across the void and smashed toward Maximus. Flame-breaking claw! Maximus screamed. The flaming phantom claw tore through the air and struck the dragon's tail fiercely. However, it didn't cause any damage, despite the raging flames. After transforming into his true form, the water dragon warlord's strength had risen to an incredible level. At this moment, even a casual attack launched by him had a power that exceeded the limit of the inner precinct. Indeed, he was now approaching the strength of a demigod. Surely, an ordinary warrior at the third level of the inner precinct would fall within a few moves. The water dragon warlord let out a roar that shook the heavens and earth. After transforming into his true form, his strength had soared, giving him endless confidence. Human, surrender to me now. Acknowledge me as your master and hand over the secret of your domain. I will then spare your life, he uttered in an arrogant tone. Maximus responded to the water dragon warlord with his blue special flame, which flowed violently from his body. After the blue special flame merged with the holy fire battle body and the profound immortal physique, Maximus's internal strength base was once again enhanced, reaching the peak of the third level, or even surpassing it. The water dragon warlord's huge reptilian eyes slightly narrowed, as he was surprised by Maximus's increase in strength. Although this speed of improvement was not as fast as his, it was not too far away. Looks like you refuse a toast only to be forced to drink a forfeit. Go to hell, the water dragon warlord shouted, grinning hideously. His huge body twisted in the void. An overwhelming torrent surged like a tsunami toward Maximus. Fusion! Mysterious, immortal, perishing finger! Maximus shouted. When fused with the blue special flame, this move could reach the transcendent grade. In other words, it had now exceeded the status of a supreme Holy Realm ultimate technique and was approaching the divine skill level. The improvement of the blue special flame from a transcendent grade, low grade, to a transcendent grade upper grade was also a huge improvement. It was as if there was only this giant finger left in the world. It emitted a terrifying temperature as the perishing aura swept out. Perhaps Maximus's internal strength had still been inferior to the water dragon warlords up to this point, but the mysterious immortal perishing finger had now closed the gap. The huge flaming column rushed into the torrent of energy they clashed, mutually weakening each other. The three generals were shocked. Their leader was essentially in a stalemate with this human interloper. The water dragon warlord was extremely furious. He had already used his true form, but he had not yet secured a decisive victory. The battle between the water dragon warlord and Maximus continued, but as time passed, the water dragon warlord gradually fell into a disadvantageous position. This was a totally unexpected outcome, given the sheer power of the dragon's body compared to that of a human. But because the Nine Flames Fire formula had reached the peak of the fifth level, the recovery speed of Maximus's Saint Origin was far faster than those of the same level. If the Water Dragon Warlord wanted to exhaust Maximus's energy, he would have to have an overwhelming advantage and that now seemed impossible. Maximus, meanwhile, was determined to persist. Damn it, the water dragon warlord exclaimed. He didn't want to continue fighting like this. He had heard about the experts who had equal strength in the ancient era. 
it wouldn't be a problem for them to fight for more than 10 years. Initially, the Water Dragon Warlord didn't really believe it, but today's battle had made him feel it personally. What a joke. Fight for more than 10 years? Wouldn't that mean that they had come to the ancient saint battlefield for nothing? The Warlord still wanted to find a strong ninth grade ancient saint spirit body and obtain its crystal. How could he waste so much time on fighting? What are you three waiting for? Hurry up and attack! He bellowed at his three remaining generals. With the entrance of the three generals into the fray, the Water Dragon Warlord revealed a victorious smile, although no one could tell the difference given the enigmatic nature of his dragon face. The dragons attacked Maximus one after another, and he was caught off guard. Soon, he had deep scratches on his left arm. <laughs> Human brat! It's not too late to beg for mercy now, the Water Dragon Warlord uttered. Maximus' expression didn't change. He retorted, Water Dragon Warlord, have you forgotten that my abilities are not limited to martial arts alone? He took a deep breath, then shouted, Heavenly Flame Domain, condense! The Silver Flame Domain instantly expanded in all directions. The Water Dragon Warlord snorted. He uttered, Your domain can only suppress a legendary warlord. It wouldn't be of much use against an epic warlord, let alone an invincible warlord. How is that possible? The water dragon warlord was shocked. His internal strength base had indeed been suppressed. Furthermore, the suppression was dramatic. There was no way he could have known that the strength of this domain was determined by the strength of the user's internal strength base. And now that Maximus's internal strength base had reached the peak of the inner precinct third level, his domain was indeed formidable. The Water Dragon Warlord finally realized that he was in danger, yet Maximus would not relent. He shouted, Fusion! Mysterious Immortal Nirvana Finger! In his own domain, Maximus's internal strength base had improved. It was now beyond the inner precinct. A terrifying giant flaming column was sent flying toward the water dragon warlord under his frightened gaze. The dragon warlord was of course unwilling to die here, however. He had yet to reach the limit of the invincible warlord realm and to unite the entire battle energy continent under his rule. How could he give up now? Yet it was too late. Without ceremony, Maximus took out the blood-drinking Nine Dragon's sword and began to absorb the blood essences of the Water Dragon Warlord and his three generals. With this fortification, the saber was easily raised to the transcendent grade upper level. Boundless blood energy condensed into a huge blood energy vortex in the void. Maximus could not have cared less about the sword's elevation to the extreme, however. His mind was already on the next task. He casually flew from the valley and immediately entered the Nine Flames Fire Tower. Within the Nine Flames Fire Tower, Maximus communed with Lord Flame, who he hadn't seen for a long time. Lord Flame had just awakened, and his spirit was still a little shaken. Don't worry, I only need a few days to fully recover. Go and see your family first. Lord Flame advised, waving his hand. With that, he led Maximus into the Grey Cloud Divine Hall. Just as Maximus had been thinking about his family for the past years, Isabella, Julie, and the others had also been thinking about Maximus. They had never been apart for so long. Indeed, by now, a few hundred years had passed, and this was not a short amount of time even for a Holy Realm expert especially someone at the ordinary holy realm. However, there was sufficient divine energy in the Azure Cloud Divine Palace. Although it was difficult to absorb and refine it, it could sustain one's internal strength base and assure a normal pattern of breakthroughs. Indeed, in the safety and control of the flying ship's special environment, many citizens of Malta, who had never dreamed of reaching the holy realm on their home continent, had done so they were infinitely grateful to Maximus. Further, over the past few hundred years, Malta's martial artists 
had rebuilt a kingdom in the miniature world of the Grey Cloud Divine Palace. Naturally, the king was a member of the Alexei family. No one objected to this. And amid this relatively political stability, the younger generations were thriving, producing many more Holy Realm experts than before. After the obligatory greetings, Maximus checked in with Julie. Her physique and aptitude were both outstanding, and she had already cultivated to the inner precinct. By any standard, this advancement was stunning. Given the huge effort required to cross the threshold into the outer precinct, then the inner precinct. Maximus could not help but feel a surge of awe as he thought of just how exceptional Julie was. Isabella was a little behind, only at the outer precinct level. As a spirit devouring body, Isabella had to continuously devour the spirit body in order to raise her innate talent and internal strength base. And in the gray cloud divine hall, there were obviously not many spirit bodies for her to consume. Thus, it made sense that she had somewhat fallen behind Julie. Maximus advised, Julie, Isabella, it just so happens that I am now familiar with the ancient Saint Battlefield. All of you follow me there. With the ancient Saint Crystals, your strength will definitely advance a step further. Isabella and Julie naturally could not refuse. Given their internal strength bases, they arrived at the battlefield almost instantaneously. Isabella commented, So, this is the Ancient Saint Battlefield. It's so different from the Grey Cloud Divine Hall. After being in the temple for so long, Isabella felt a bit shell-shocked to be in a new environment. It was as if she had traveled from the pristine countryside to a polluted city. Julie laughed and chimed in. Don't forget that we came from a lower plane, the Forgotten Continent. It can't even compare to this place. After hundreds of years, the relationship between the two girls had become extremely close, and it was as if they were real sisters. They could thus speak to each other frankly. Maximus smiled and clapped his hands, then advised, All right, since we have made the effort to get here, let's go hunt for the ancient saint spirit bodies. Those above the seventh level are rare, but those at the lower levels are quite common. Before the ancient saint battlefield closes, no matter what, Isabella will be able to break through to the inner precinct, perhaps even reaching the second level. And Julie, you will certainly be able to reach the third level. The three of them moved together. The search process was filled with happiness and was no longer tedious for Maximus, as it had been before. In just two weeks, the three of them accumulated a large amount of ancient saint crystals, and Isabella broke through to the inner precinct in one go. Julie was only a step away from the second level. A few days later, she made preparations to break through. Maximus and Isabella would guard her as she cultivated. At about this time, Maximus suddenly realized he had forgotten about his contracted Warcraft beasts, so he summoned them, and as they appeared, they cast resentful glances his way. Maximus defensively pleaded, All right, all right, it's my fault. During this period of time, you guys can play however you want in the ancient saint battlefield. This place is full of opportunities for you. Well, all of you except the Red Skylark. She has already reached the peak of the inner precinct and is ready to advance to the true god level. He paused in thought, then continued. But Gurgen, you can absorb some ancient saint crystals to make your internal strength base more stable. Then, you will be ready to break through to the true god realm later on. And Cosimo, you are still at the early third level of the inner precinct, so you have a lot of work to do. Lion, you just reached the second level, so you need to improve as well. And Leopard, you are in the same boat. After being given these orders, the Warcraft beasts flew away. They had been stuck in the Warcraft holding space for so long, and now they were anxious to advance. Little did they all know, there was only half a year left until the ancient Saint Battlefield closed, and so it was fortuitous that the Warcraft beasts, perhaps because of their superior sense of smell, were far more adept at hunting ancient Saint spirit bodies than Maximus had been. Maximus thus resolved to hunker down in a hidden valley with Julie 
and let the Warcraft creatures do their work. And indeed, they did not disappoint. They even brought back some level 9 ancient saint crystals, which allowed Maximus to smoothly break through to the intermediate third level. It was not only Maximus whose strength improved significantly during this time. Julie and Isabella experienced the same advancements, as did the Warcraft creatures. And now that they understood that the ancient Saint Battlefield was about to close, the Warcraft beasts worked even harder to hunt for ancient Saint spirit bodies. Cosimo the Cat had pulled the greatest coup, obtaining a high-grade level 9 ancient Saint crystal. As he handed it to Maximus, he chuckled. With this crystal, I'm guessing you'll be able to break through to the late third level in an instant. Of course, Cosimo and the others did not even think of absorbing such high-level crystals themselves, for they knew that if Maximus became stronger and could break through to the true god realm as soon as possible, then unseal the Nine Flames Fire Tower, they would all benefit to an unimaginable degree. However, what puzzled Cosimo was that this ninth grade ancient saint spirit body was somewhat different from the others. It was common knowledge that the ancient saint spiritual body was formed by the soul, more specifically, the soul of a warrior that died in the ancient saint battlefield millions of years ago. Typically, these spirit bodies would be in bad shape, ragged and emaciated, but this one was poised and strong and dressed neatly. She also had a beautifully preserved complexion and shiny hair. Cosimo was puzzled, but ultimately did not think much about it. Little did he know that his actions in killing this ancient saint's spirit body would bring a myriad of consequences to Maximus. At the center of the ancient saint battlefield, a cylindrical barrier shot into the heavens, like an impossibly tall skyscraper. Within the barrier, eight elders were sitting cross-legged. Each of them emitted an incomparably terrifying aura. They had an oddly translucent quality, as if they were both real and illusory, both human bodies and spirit bodies. All of a sudden, one of the old men began to tremble. He opened his eyes, which seemed filled with fire. Sky-battling saint, why are you? Another one of the old men began to query but the sky-battling saint interrupted him, declaring, Something has happened to my daughter! The others immediately began to contest the claim, for even though they were vaguely aware that their ancient saint battlefield was at this point open to the outside world, they were also confident that most of those who entered the battlefield were at the first level of the inner precinct or below. They thus did not pose a threat to the strongest ancient saint spirit bodies. Beyond that, present-day martial artists tended to be far weaker than their ancient predecessor. The old men knew about the daughter of the sky-battling saint. She had already reached the high-level ninth grade and was thought to be on the verge of achieving a level 10 ancient saint body. At that time, not only would she have terrifying strength compared to the demigod realm, but she would also be able to recover the memories of humans. But now, it seemed she had been mysteriously killed. Could it be that the continent outside had become prosperous once again? After their shock wore off, the seven old men's expressions became gloomy. They had been depending on the sky-battling saint's daughter to ascend to the tenth level and bring great fortune to them all. Indeed, once she had crossed that threshold, they would all finally be able to break through to the true god realm. And now, with her death, this great fortune would be greatly delayed. More pressingly, they themselves were now clearly in danger. They broke out in enraged chorus. Bastard! Truly unforgivable! Who did this? We have to make them pay the price! The sky-battling saint grinned hideously, then advised. I don't know who it was but I've already left a mark in my daughter's body. Whoever has the crystal that she once possessed is her murderer. He clapped his hands, then gestured to his peers. If our lord asks, 
Tell him I have gone to avenge my daughter. With that, he turned into a gust of wind and blasted out of the barrier. Meanwhile, in the hidden valley, Maximus looked at the high-grade, ninth-grade ancient Saint Crystal given to him by Cosimo in shock. Not bad, kid, Gergen interjected with a look of envy on his face. In terms of strength, he was even stronger than Cosimo, the flying flame six-tailed cat. Yet in the end, Cosimo had managed to pull off something he could not. Maximus's face was full of joy as he mused. With this ancient Saint Crystal, the third stage of the third level is in sight, one step closer to the true god realm. Julie and Isabella both expressed their appreciation to Cosimo. But just then, Lord Flame chimed in via voice transmission. Wait, Maximus, there is something wrong with this ancient Saint Crystal. Something wrong? Maximus's expression turned serious, and he pressed. What is the problem? This ancient Saint Crystal has some kind of seal within it. It's equivalent to a tracker, Lord Flame declared, with a mix of solemnity and curiosity. Who on earth had done this? And how had they done it? Didn't the ancient Holy Spirit bodies no longer have any intelligence? Maximus had some thoughts. But looking at the ancient Saint Crystal in his hand, he couldn't detect anything wrong with it. This phenomenon could only mean that the power of his opponent's soul was far beyond his own. His internal strength base had already stepped into the intermediate stage of the third level. This could only mean that the other party's soul was infinitely close to the true god realm. Maximus took a deep breath and his expression turned serious. Everyone looked at each other when they saw the change in their leader's effect. They knew something was seriously amiss. They just didn't know what. Maximus queried Cosimo in an urgent tone. Did you notice anything unusual when you obtained this ancient Saint Crystal? Strange, Cosimo repeated, looking puzzled. Julie, Isabella, and the others were focused on Maximus's serious expression. Could it be that there was something wrong with this ancient Saint Crystal? Maximus, seeing that everyone was confused, explained. Lord Flame has explained to me that this ancient Saint Crystal has been imbued with a tracking device by a powerful martial artist. And this person is likely to be a demigod. They are probably already tracking us now. Maximus didn't hesitate to reveal the true source of the information. The Warcraft beasts already knew of Lord Flame's existence, and the others he trusted implicitly. A demigod? Everyone held their breaths for a moment. However, when they thought about the fact that they could call on the Red Skylark, they heaved a sigh of relief. When the Red Skylark mustered the power of its divine grade bloodline, its strength was formidable, even by demigod standards. Still, they were baffled by the situation. Why had this mysterious figure placed a tracking device in the ancient Saint Crystal? And how had they done it? At this moment, Cosimo let out an, ah! causing everyone to look over. He commented, Maximus, I didn't think that this was significant at first, but there was something unique about that ancient saint spirit body. She wasn't rugged and unkempt like the rest. She was dressed beautifully and perfectly groomed. In fact, she looked like some sort of princess. They all looked at each other in bewilderment. It was not that they had never fought with the ancient saint spiritual bodies before, but those beings had no intelligence, and they had been living like wild beasts for hundreds of thousands or even millions of years. They would never take care of themselves. Cosimo's description thus felt surreal. Maximus's eyes sparkled as he uttered, Such a situation can only mean one thing. That ancient saint spirit body had someone to take care of it. Julie nodded before adding, That's right, and only someone with great intelligence would know how to care for an ancient saint spirit body. Isabella pressed, But what human could live long enough to sustain an ancient saint spirit body? Is that even possible? Everyone knew that a demigod was just a spiritual clone of a true god. Only when they were in contact with their main body 
Could they enjoy a long life like a true god? If they lost contact with their main body, their lifespan would be no different than that of an inner precinct expert. Thinking of this concept, everyone's expressions turned grave. If this demigod expert had taken care of the ancient saint's spiritual body for hundreds of thousands of years, then their main body would most likely be in the ancient saint battlefield as well. Gergen queried, Maximus, if our opponent is really a true god, then even if we combine forces, there's no way we can defeat them. Why don't we just let the ancient Saint Crystal go and get out of here? Maximus smiled calmly before reasoning. This is the battle energy consonant. Although the ancient Saint Battlefield is located in an alternate dimension, it still relies on the continent's resources. And without the continent, it would likely disappear. Further, the battle energy consonant is a complete plane, unlike the forgotten continent. If this person were a true god, they would have long ago ascended to the continent of the gods. The battle energy continent would not allow such a presence to linger. Gurgen felt that what Maximus said made sense, but how could a demigod live for so long? Julie seemed to have thought of something, and her eyes flashed. Yes, Julie, what is it? Maximus gently nudged her. Speak, speak, Isabella pressed. Julie covered her mouth, then smiled and offered. Isabella, think about it carefully. What did Maximus say when he introduced the ancient saint's spiritual bodies? Isabella frowned and thought hard. After a long while, her eyes became round. Then she began. Could it be? Maximus laughed lightly, then confirmed. That's right. If I'm not mistaken, this demigod should be at the legendary level 10 ancient saint spiritual body. Such a figure is different from ordinary spirit bodies. It can live for millions of years. Isabella rolled her eyes and pressed. So what? The ancient saint's spirit bodies are like beasts without intelligence. But spirit bodies in the Forgotten Continent have tremendous intelligence and skill. Maximus nodded, then offered. That's true, but if I'm not wrong, then the level 10 ancient saint spirit bodies surely have recovered memories from their previous life. This girl is obviously important to the demigod, which is why he left a mark on her. Maximus paused and thought, then profound light flashed across his eyes. Perhaps this person can tell us how the ancient saint battlefield came to be in the first place. The red skylark chuckled and commented, Then let's wait here. After the level 10 ancient saint spirit body appears, I will deal with it. Isabella said seriously, Maximus, no matter what, it is best to be careful. What if there is really a true god here that did not ascend to the divine world? Maximus reasoned, Huh, Isabella is right. We can't be careless. How about this? You guys go back to the Grey Cloud Divine Hall. The Red Skylark and I will stay back. If there are only the two of us left here, even if the other side has a true god behind them, the two of us will still be able to flee to the Grey Cloud Shrine in no time and escape. The others followed Maximus's plan. Before long, he felt a huge pressure descending from the sky, causing the sky to darken. He narrowed his eyes and looked at the expert who had just appeared. He could see the furious expression on his face. This was, of course, the sky battling saint, and his hatred for Maximus was palpable. Kid, you will soon experience the same fate as my daughter. He screamed in a desperate tone.